I'm Brody Taylor from Timaru Boys High School. Welcome to our animation on the pollination of plants. Plants can be pollinated in two ways. The first is called wind pollination, where the wind picks up pollen from flowers and carries it to another flower. Flowers pollinated by the wind usually have stamens on the outside of the flower and are usually not so pretty or nice smelling, so insects are not attracted to them. The other way is called insect pollination. This is where an insect is attracted to a pretty coloured and nice smelling flower. It enters the flower looking for nectar to feed on and, in the process, rubs against the stamens, causing the pollen to stick to its fur and legs. It then moves to another flower to feed and transfers the pollen. Here is an example of wind pollination. As the wind passes the shry grass, it blows the pollen off and carries it along with it. The wind carries the pollen to another lot of rye grass, therefore pollinating it. That is an example of wind pollination. Here is an example of insect pollination. The bumblebee enters. It is immediately attracted to this rose because of its bright pretty colours and its nice smell. The bee enters the flower looking for nectar which it finds and feeds on. After it feeds it leaves the flower. As the bee leaves it rubs against the stamens which produce pollen so the pollen sticks to its fur and legs. The bee leaves the flower with pollen still attached to it. It flies to another flower again looking for nectar. As the bee feeds on this nectar, it will rub against and transfer the pollen to this new flower, and therefore pollinate it. Thanks for watching. Created, designed and commentated by Brodie Taylor from Timaru Boys High School. Special thanks to Mrs Pater and Mr Mansell. Hope you enjoyed.